sent on superior customer service, why we get sent to listen to Regina Allen, I will once again happily welcome you to today's historic event. Thank you very much and God bless you. My proud to be here before you to announce that, as of today, Smart Nigeria is now in Lagos. From Ikeja to Somolo, to Blecky, to Burger, to yeah. Papa, from Victoria Island to Lagos Island, from Akawonjo to Festac, <laughs> and our timing could not be better. The Nigerian government is promoting massive broadband deployment with a view to increasing the mobile broadband penetration fivefold to 80% by 2018. The reason is simple and compelling. Access to information and communications technology has transformed and will continue to transform every industry in every country in the world. Broadband internet will transform the lives of every individual in each of the 37 states in Nigeria. All right. Welcome back, and uh, there you saw it, the launch of the uh, SMARS 4G broadband uh, services in uh, Lagos, uh, and uh, where they are up and uh, running, and so uh, the Lagos area feeder seems to be well covered. This is the final destination market. Mm. Wherever you are in Africa, mm. in Europe, mm. this is where to come. This guy, the company was founded in 2007, okay. and they have a business in uh, Uganda, Kampala. That one started in 2009, mm. Tanzania, and now Nigeria. They, they said, we just have to go for the big one. This is where, and yeah. even <laughs> when you so okay, you are in Ibadan, the, the, the turnover from Ikeja alone, alone yes. <laughs> will add strip the money they will make from, from, from the all of Ibadan. Yes. I think they, they use the quieter places to to, you know, to test run yes. all that they are doing, yeah. and then they now say, we are ready yeah. for Lagos. And uh, from that, uh, from what their chairman said there, they also, after Lagos, want to move into Abuja, and then uh, to uh, Port Harcourt. So I think uh, Smile is a long-distance uh, runner, and uh, well, uh, uh, we cannot but encourage them, uh, because, uh, well, you and I, are the beneficiary of all of this uh, investment. Fantastic. Okay, so, well, uh, again, uh, let's move to what the regulators uh, are doing. And the Nigerian Communications Commission decided it was time that they get Nigerian's legislator to know one or two things about uh, this business. Yeah, because you see, the, the, the era of knowing everything mm and not having your hand on a particular thing is gone. Okay. So you need to be a little bit of a professional in your area. Okay. And when you say you are a committee member, uh, communications, and then the Senate or House of Reps, mm. you need to be abreast of the evolutions, the changes taking place in the world. Okay. So what NCC try to do is, okay, let us come together in exchange of ideas okay we tell you what we are doing yeah. and then you also ask questions yes. and during the forum issues of conflict of uh, 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 regulatory mm. bodies some doing NCC's job yeah. like uh, Sarah I mean uh, Nesria and all that yeah, you shut be. down the towers yeah. of course these are things that NCC should be doing but there's another agency doing that, doing that so yeah. it is an opportunity for the lawmakers to say okay these conflicts, we need to look at them once more. Okay. Give NCC the necessary bite so that they can do more. All right. Okay. Okay. Quickly now, let's bring to you the sights and sound of uh, the interaction between uh, the regulators uh, and the lawmakers. Uh, as happened at the Protea Hotel, uh, watch. <laughs> The objective of this workshop is to acquaint 
and keep the members of the National Assembly abreast of the existing and emerging legal issues in telecommunications. Because the next venture has a fundamental role to play in the success or the rise of this critical sector of the economy. Since the last workshop for members of the National Assembly held in 2012, telecommunications has witnessed the positive growth to the introduction of various services into the industry. And the release of the Nigerian National Broadband Fund for 2013 to 2018. The objectives of the, national, of the Nigerian National Broadband Fund include the provision of broadband deployment, increase in broadband adoption and usage, and ensuring the availability of broadband services at affordable prices. The effect of this will be an increase in competition in the industry, a valuable impact on prices, and improved quality of service to subscribers. The Commission is therefore intensifying its efforts to achieve significant broadband connectivity across the country in the shortest time possible. ICT, as we all know, holds the key to economic growth in a rapidly developing world, and Nigeria cannot afford to be left behind. This thing has therefore been carefully selected because the adequacy of ICT infrastructure for broadband penetration in Nigeria is of major concern to the regulator. Nigeria is regarded as one of the fastest growing telecommunications markets in the world. However, internet penetration is less than 32%. This level of internet penetration is still inadequate and can be attributed to the birth of ICT infrastructure. This will also require many Nigerians from enjoying the benefits of broadband services, now considered in some countries as a basic human right. As you are aware, the Commission is very this year option the last slot of 30 megahertz nationally available in the 2.3 gigahertz band with influx communications limited winning the auction. This release of this spectrum will necessarily 